So Miracle doing a great oh. job. Oh. Yeah, this, this is the time you want to be careful. <laughs> and he does get away. Bottom, Bottom lane, lane Ryan's yeah. in trouble. No tail with the body blocks. Look at him go. Stopping Ryan from being able to get away from the tombstone. Fly getting the slaps in. There's your last forward, and they should be able to get this one. First blood there. Some very nice play there from the duo of No Tail and Flight. Right, but OG, they see an opening, they go for it and get rewarded. Actually seeing, uh, obviously on the side of Mineski, they're going to look for an opening themselves. Smoked up from the top lane, Jesse, Bash, and Jules coming in with a wraparound towards the mid. We'll see if they can find anything with this rotation. As you can see, Miracle's come out fairly far, but McCrit is, will, will be there with a corner brace if necessary, and there we go. Straight on to Miracle, trying to buy him time. They've got Chilling Touch and still being up there, but a Miracle's going to go down. They'll get the kill onto the SF, and they force back Crit as well. Kill him off with a scream afterwards, but this opens up in the top lane. Top lane. Very yeah. surprising to me that Raging Potato actually just stays this aggressively. It's so easy yeah. for Mumia. This a void is such here a big He's kill. Up, looking to fog him, but the right click's there to cancel. He'll bite his way through the trees. Moon gets the slow off, and the final slap will do it. And at the same time, down on the bottom lane, Fly and No Tail are able to find themselves another kill. Mid lane, Koopy jumping forward. He has got a Sonic Wave. Will he be able to be in low enough to use it? He's gonna pop it anyway. He gets it. He Whoa. gets a double kill. Cuckoo. Wait a second. Okay, right. A little bit of trouble, Moon. He's gonna chase this one down with a slap. Just a little bit of trouble. As well. Jesse Vash is there. Wave the tear out with the decay. There is a snowball buying some time for Ryo, but he'll still go down there. Fly gets the kill. They're trying to look for more potential, but Cuckoo is there to back up the side. Screen comes out onto two. Look at them diving, though. They found themselves a second kill. OG. They're looking for Jules as well. Cuckoo will take down Miracle, and he might be able to see them. Scream. Double kill for Cuckoo. And now he's gonna look for Fly as well. Bowling up on the Queen of Pain. Flies on his own. Cuckoo bleeps forward. Looks to block off the there's the triple kill as he goes absolutely cuckadoodle do three kills there for the queen of pain and he is really keeping Maneski in this game he has all their kills Chris, oh my god are you serious i think he might get it he's got him he just needs one more attack my goodness seven minutes into the game ultra kill for cuckoo raging potato will get a Thousand gold ahead of the Shadow Fiend after being 20 CS down. He has 25 CS. Another look for no oh my He's god. Cuckoo! Have some mercy! Eight kills before the eight minute mark! It's a 700 gold lead, you would think. Wow, there's a Queen of Pain with eight kills. They're oh, owning? No, oh, he is owning. Make that nine potentially here. He's gonna oh. actually take that. He's out of mana. Cuckoo, okay. Not great for the man there. Gives his streak away to Flanny and dying. Top lane, Moon might be in trouble and he will be. Raging Potato comes through. So I need to back him up with the smoke. It actually expires. And they are in a good position to flank. And here we go. Swap. Actually going to be Cuckoo initiated there with a Sonic Wave. Gets it off. There's just Snowball as well to follow through. Ice Blast is flying in. And here we go. It's going to connect beautifully onto John to crit and Miracle. Cuckoo looks at the burst to bring out Miracle and he'll get it. They take down the SF, but Cuckoo. Oh, he's going to survive. He gets himself out with the bottle. Can they get the kill here? No deal with the final loss. He'll find it. Takes down Cuckoo. So they do find two, but they did lose Miracle on the Shadow Fiend. The question is, can they find anything more? Shards get thrown out. Is it going to hold back Moon as he continues to pursue this Tusk? Gets the urn on the uh, Tusk and the Voice though as well. There'll be a snowball. There's a TP coming through from AA. Can they try and turn this to get the voice punch low? But with the shards, Coffee's gonna kick it, but Moon, he turns, he will be able to get the kill. They do manage to bring down the knights. And there we go. So Orchid is now complete here on the Quap and Mineski. They're going for Roche. Are ROG gonna get wind of this? They've got an SF in the neighborhood. He has got this Invis rune. Is he gonna head into the pit? Oh, this could be big just as it's about to expire. He's got the red pit on too! Oh, oh my god! Could be the turnaround they needed. Cuckoo's gonna come in. It's just trying to jump it. Oh no! Three Cuckoo from Maneski! And the Roshan will go down to the Radiant. Aegis is gonna be picked up by OG, and that was absolutely disastrous for the Dyer. And they might lose right here as well. Moon's going into the Tusk. He's gonna get it. It's a, oh, no, he, he turns, he messes around a bit. There's a snowball, but I think this Tusk is still dead, and he is. Effectively a team wipe against Maneski. Miracle. And lead him with the Shadow Blade now. Oh, he's found Potato. Is he gonna go for the straight up Requiem? Yes, he is. Potato getting fried by the side of OG. They also lose AA here, Maneski. The rest of them just teeping the hell out. Is he going for that? Oh. Oh. He's gonna try, but there is a Tombstone now. Cooper's gonna back himself off. Chris moving in as well. He'll proud of Sonic Wave, but there's your Winter's Curse into Requiem. Crit and the Miracle Man. Blowing up the co-op and now Jesse Vash hiding in the trees. It's not gonna work out. He's down as well. Raging Potato's trying to move forward there to throw out the shards. 
Oh, top lane. Oh, miracle. Oh, miracle. Oh, miracle. He's done it. He's done it again. The BKB even came out before she went down. Oh, miracle. And that swapping Cuckoo back in. Saying, you take these. That's a 40 second cooldown. And that's one of their most important spells that he just had to use to get away from PL illusions. If OG realized this, they could get the tower. I think. Okay, Here's here we go. Smoke. Here's Try your two. smoke. But as you said, they don't have the swap for this. It's the Hell Mary. Something's got to oh, give. Oh, no. Moon. You're going to get silent. Shards come out as well. But the Sorrow's there to heal. Ice Blast to fly across. And that's a nice Sonic wave. They'll get the Night Stalker. But no time's got to go to work. Miracle as well. With the record. There's a snowball to find them sometime. But they've lost the Drought. They've lost the AA. They're going to lose the Turks. They're going to lose the Bench. Four dead. Only Cuckoo surviving. And GG is caught. In your top form. And unfortunately for Mineski, they did not they were not able to show what they've shown earlier in the tournament. Whereas OG, they keep it rolling. Stick to their guns. Very standard OG picks in both games, not really showing yes. anything special. Maybe the PL is a little bit of a curveball from them, but everything else just uh standard OG stuff that works. Absolutely.